I have some I have some closet clean up to do just straightening up to do okay I'm feeling like wearing something lighter so I think I will just go with um, this top of course pink hey when you know what you like stick with it regardless of what anybody else says and I think this cardigan will be good with that so because this is a thinner top I'm gonna have to wear an undershirt with it so it doesn't matter if I go with white or like a blush color so I just went with the blush color one which is still lighter than this blush top but um, yeah definitely needs an undershirt now today we wanted to discuss the traditions of men is yes. that right okay I thought a good place to begin though would be to uh, first off show there's some differences between uh, acts of worship things that you do with uh, offerings to God and with God in mind because God has commanded it and then things you're allowed to do that there's nothing wrong with and one of the examples would be if we look to Leviticus 10 we'll read a few verses there and this pertained to uh, the sons of Aaron who were the high priests and they had been uh, told to uh, offer certain things toward God but what they did they offered something that God hadn't told them to as an offering. And so uh, we'll just read the first uh, three verses. It says, And Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer, and put fire therein, and put incense thereon, and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out fire from the Lord, and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said unto Aaron, this is it that the Lord spoke, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come near me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. So what they had done was by offering something God hadn't commanded, uh, displeased God, and it uh, shows that they didn't have proper reverence and respect for God, because God said he would be sanctified. Anyone who comes near him, that is to worship him, and so forth and so uh, but what I want to point out from this is, is uh, incense itself just to burn incense there's no crime in that and there's no sin in that the person wants to burn incense uh, because they like the smell or to cover an odor or whatever just for their own enjoyment but this was uh, something they did toward God and so right there it shows that there's a difference in things that are acts of worship and then things that are just part of our regular conduct and so on. Now all of our conduct, regardless of what it is, has got to be in keeping with the law of God. If God, if God prohibited burning incense of any kind for anybody any time, that any time we burned it would be uh, a sin, but he hasn't done that. But here he had told them what to offer and they offered something different. And uh, so this was considered a transgression of God's law. So we would apply that to us if, uh, if we want to burn incense in our home, there's nothing wrong with that. We can, but if we want to do it as an act of worship and say, well, I'm doing this as an act of worship or as an offering to God, that would be a sin. And it would be similar to the Lord's Supper in taking uh, and replacing the fruit of the vine and the unleavened bread with uh, some other thing like steak and orange juice. Common meal. Common meal and so forth. In 1 Corinthians 11, Paul said you don't eat the Lord's Supper to satisfy hunger anyway, because if you're hungry, you're supposed to eat at home. But if you did uh, did replace those things without God's permission, His authorization, then that would be a transgression, because uh, you wouldn't be sanctifying God. And he, he wants to be sanctified in those that draw near to Him. But here, it speaks specifically of these as being traditions. And these were traditions, though, that uh, fell into the realm of uh, worship to God and so forth. 
And as we look through here, we'll notice uh, that these, uh, the Jewish people there, the, the ones in charge there, question Jesus and his disciples. But let's read this. This is Matthew 15. We'll read the first nine verses, first of all. Then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do your disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the command of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and mother. And he that curses father or mother, let him die the death. But you say... Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift, but whatever you might be profited by me, and honors not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have you made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. You hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draws near unto me with their mouth, and honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. So anytime we uh, would add any kind of a tradition and say, well, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, and it's not something God has authorized, even though it might be a, a tradition, a custom among people and so forth. But if we call it an act of worship or a requirement by God, that's where the transgression is. The weight of it is stressed there in verse 9. It makes a person's worship vain. He says, in vain they worship me if they teach for doctrines the commandments of men. And so if it can't be found that it's a command of God, then that's something people have simply added to the law of God. And it's just as wrong as taking away from God's commandments to add to them. Just got done with our Bible study, and I wanted to show you a few of the extra decorations Grandma put up. This is her cardinal little area right here. And it's... So pretty. Look at this one. Aren't they cute? And she has her little thing here. This thing actually turns on like um, there are beads in here that light up. And she put this on the table. And this is her little ice skating rink. I just thought it She's done this for so many years, and I love it. This is what I look forward to the most at Christmas time at Grammy's house. One thing I always look forward to is Grammy's Christmas candy. All right, so. right now I'm just going to paint her nails, and she wanted to do white. So she picked this one out because her nails are all broken off right now. They're very short. When they're short, she does not like to do a dark color, so we're going to try this one. It's very sparkly. Little check-in. After I got the girls from school, I took them to Target. I had to get some bathroom tissue and some paper towels as well as some gum to fill up those gumball machines that they won at um, the pizza place. So. That was a lot of fun for them, and I let them chew a piece of gum while they did their reading. Okay, so right now I am going to be filling up, restocking all of the bathroom tissue, and I guess I'll take you along.
I just got done mopping and kind of cleaning up a few dishes and now I'm going to go to my mom's house. She's making a soup tonight that uh, she wanted us to try but it's cabbage soup so it's not something that I know a few of the kids aren't going to like but um and Jorge so they're going to stay here. Jorge wanted to make hamburgers and hot dogs and so I'm just going to go to my mom's and Ivan wanted to come with me not to eat that but he wanted to come with me so that um, he can talk to my grumpy a bit so we have to leave right now and then once we're done there we're gonna come back and I need to be back here by 7 because because um, our friends are coming over to play games and yeah I wanted to be back in time for that right mm -hmm. so that's what this evening's looking like. And what else, what else, what else, what else? That's about it. That's about it today. So I will let you know how that soup turned out. Taking the two trashes out. Let me see. That's it. Is that big enough? I don't know if this one can do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the big one. <gasps> Whoa. Like, do it on the. Hey, that one. Watch out, I do Everybody loves the <laughs> slinky. There's got to be some kind of record. <laughs> Watch out. Wait, wait, girl. Okay. Oh. Watch out, fun. Oh. oh <sighs> Oh! That's it. Cool. Everyone loves listening to... for watching our friends just left and it is almost 11 o'clock so I am ready to get myself ready for bed thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and until next time I hope that you guys take care and we'll talk